Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, I want to look at the LogPerms permission for Minecraft. LogPerms is a permissions plugin for Minecraft servers. It allows server admins to control what features players can use by creating groups and assigning permissions. So this perfectly ties in with Tabex, where you are probably creating a group like a VIP group, which you are then selling access to through Tabex. By using permissions and groups, the only thing we have to do is once a purchase has been made, add a person to the group that we created and all those permissions and features will automatically apply to that player. I have my server running with Spigot and looking inside of my plugins folder, you can see that I have the LogPerms permission for a bucket and then I'm using the current newest version and I also have the LPC plugin. When going to the wiki in the top right, then clicking on the frequently asked questions, it says here, Logperms is not a chat formatter and another plugin is required to format the chat or tab list to include prefixes and suffixes. That's why we have the LPC plugin. You can see this is a chat formatter and it also has the same logo as Logperms. We are going to create a group and I want to have a VIP tag or prefix for that group. So we need LPC. So we got those two plugins installed. Let's dive into the game and start setting up our VIP group. So first of all, let's make ourselves operator. So let's do OP and then our name, which in my case is Tabex Academy. And it says made Tabex Academy a server operator. So now that we are operator, let's open up the editor. So let's do slash LP for lock perms and then editor. Then we can press T so it unlocks our mouse and we can click on the link and either copy it to our clipboard and paste it into our browser or we can just click yes. Now we can see here on the left, we have groups and we have users. You can indeed see my name, Tabex Academy. So I can click on my name and you can see what kind of permissions I currently have. We can also see that there's currently one group, the default group. Let's first of all, create our VIP group. So let's click on the plus here, group name, I'm going to call it VIP, display name, VIP, and prefix, weirdly enough, VIP. <laughs> then there are some options that you might not know what to do. So first of all, wait. The higher the wait number, the higher the priority. So let's say there is a moderator group and a VIP group. The moderator group will have way more permissions or wait to them than the VIP players. So if you are going to create a moderator group, you could, for example, set a wait of 100 and then set the VIP groups somewhere in the 10 range. You don't have to use the weight, but I would recommend getting familiar with it and setting up some sort of weight system. Let's say a player is in multiple groups. It will always show the tag of the highest weight or group first. In this case, we're only going to have one group. So let's just set 10 and I don't want a suffix. So something after the name and then let's add the group. On the left, you see we are now inside of the VIP group and we can see what kind of permissions and metadata or settings this group has. So those are the three settings over here that we set in the little pop-up menu. And we can also turn them off or change the value from true to false if we later want to change or disable something. At the bottom, we can also add permissions. So if I click here, you can see we have a really big list of all the plugins. So in our case, only LogPerms and also the built-in Spigot or Bucket permissions are here. LogPerms will automatically detect what plugins are installed and it will automatically display all those permissions over here. So for example, we have the TPS command, which shows the performance of the server. Let's say I want to give this permission to the VIP group. I can just click on it on this list. I can add multiple if I want to. In this case, I'm only going to do TPS and then I can add it on the right. So let's click on apply at the top and looking at our console, you can see that indeed it changed those settings. And we can also see that in the chat, the TPS command, and we set the display name, the prefix and the weight. So I still need to add myself to this group. So let's go back to the editor. Let's go to users, click on my name, and then click on the plus here and add myself to the VIP group. So now I'm in the default group and inside the VIP group. Let's click apply. We can see it in the chat. And now if I say something, you can see that indeed we have the VIP tag in front of our name. So let's make this a little bit better. First of all, let's add a space between the tag and the username. And also let's give the tag a different color. So we're going to go into groups, into the VIP group, and then we're going to click on the prefix and we can just change it. So let's first of all, add a space and then let's look up the bucket codes. I will link to this page in the description. So let's do, for example, gold, which is N6. Let's copy this. Let's go back into the editor and then let's go to the tag in front of the tag. Let's add the N6, click apply. 
And now you can see that the space is added and also everything is gold. You might like this. You might also just want the tag to be gold and not the full username. So let's go get the white color code, which is NF. Go back to the editor and then after the tag, leave the space in there that we just added. We just do NF apply. And now we have a gold tag with a space and the rest is white. Take a look at the LPC chat formatter information and also the Lockperms wiki for more information about what kind of tags and other options you can do to make the prefixes and suffixes even more fancy. So the tag is working as we want. We also gave ourselves the permission for the TPS command. So when you do slash TPS, as you can see, it shows what kind of memory usage and also the performance of the server. And TPS stands for ticks per second. That's basically the heartbeat of the server. Minecraft is made in a way that if a lot of things are happening and the server cannot keep up, that ticks per second will go down and the whole server will start lagging and basically start operating in slow motion. Now I can already do the TPS commands because I'm operator. So let's do slash dop tabx academy. Now I'm no longer a server operator, but since I'm in the VIP group, I can still do slash TPS. Going back to my account on the editor, removing myself from VIP and clicking apply. It says data was saved, run this command on your server to apply the changes. So let's go to the server console. I think it worked because it deleted the slash, but normally if you're running a command, don't use the slash. Now, if we do slash TPS, it says, I'm sorry, but you do not have permission to perform this command. So as you can see, those permissions assigned to the VIP group automatically work as long as I'm in the group or of course, any player. Until now, we have been using the editor to add and remove ourselves from the group. Of course, when using Tabex, we have to use a command. So let's go into Tabex and see what command we have to use to add a player to the group once a purchase has been made. So inside of Tabex, I gave my package a name, simple description, and I chose a category. I also set the pricing and then let's add a deliverable. In our case, we wanna add the game server commands, select our game server, and then we need to add our first command. It says when the package is purchased, what do we want to happen? So we're going to say LP user. Then we need to get the name from whoever is logged into our web store. We can click here on help on the right, scrolling down a little bit. It says for Minecraft Java, which is what we are using. We want to use the name, which will get the legacy variable for the customer username. Bracket and click on username. This will automatically get the username from whoever is logged into our TabX web store. We then have to say parent and we want to set the parent and we want to add them to our VIP group. And that's all we have to do. Once again, you can of course add more permissions, just the TPS doesn't make a lot of sense, but this is just to demonstrate how to set up a group, add a tag for the groups or a prefix, and also add some colors to get multiple colors inside of the chat and make sure that the different groups inside of the server can distinguish themselves. If you, for example, have a plugin like Essentials, then you could also give access to teleportation or set homes and stuff like that. Hopefully this was helpful though. If anything is unclear, you can always leave a comment down below. As always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.